Today we're joined by Dr. Miguel Villalona Calero. He is the Director of Medical Oncology at The Ohio State University, where he is also Professor of Internal Medicine and Pharmacology. Dr. Villalona chairs the Minorities in Cancer Research Scientific Symposium called Can Advancing Our Understanding of the Human Genome Reduce Breast Cancer Health Disparities? Thank you for joining us. My pleasure. African American, Hispanic, and low-income women are more likely to be diagnosed with and also die from more aggressive forms of breast cancer. What are your thoughts on the extent to which advancing our understanding of the human genome can help reduce these disparities? Yeah, there are, there are two issues. Um, we, we do know and everybody agrees that socioeconomic uh, issues are important, access and cultural uh, things are important. But the question is biology. Um, can biology play a role? And um, now we are really in the uh, dawn of a new era in which we are subclassifying cancers uh, and finding out you know, what's happening. So why, why is it more aggressive at presentation? Um, is it just because they came late or is it because there is some biology behind it? And um, a, um, new um, discoveries um, you know, have shown, especially in breast cancer, and I will say that will extend to other cancers, that um, a triple negative breast cancers, for example, um, and um, a certain types of triple negative breast cancers will be more common in these uh, minority populations. As a bench to bedside translational researcher, what are your thoughts on how we can leverage our knowledge of the biological underpinnings of cancer to improve treatments? Um, um, precisely and extend to, to the previous uh, uh, you know, statement. So if we are able to um, determine exactly what is the driver of a particular cancer, uh, we certainly um, it can come with treatments that will be more focused uh, in the particular group that uh, we are treating with. So, so it's no longer um, a, a enough to know that um, you have a particular kind of cancer coming from a particular organ. But what are the driving mutations? What are um, a, the things that uh, operate? What are the pathways that are active in these particular cancers? You specialize in lung cancer. Would you discuss what is on the horizon with your own work? Well, uh, certainly uh, lung cancer, as you know, uh, recent discoveries in driver mutations uh, and translocation, for example, the EGFR mutation and uh, the um, ALK translocations uh, have led to new effective treatments uh, in, in lung cancer. And what is interesting is that there are some ethnicity difference in terms of the incidence of this uh, particular type of mutations. Also, um, a people that uh, do not smoke and get cancer or smoke lightly tend to have you know, less of that. So um, the um, one frontier, though, um, is a um, mutation a, in another gene called the RAS. And uh, for that, we don't have very good treatments. So we are working um, with uh, some treatments trying to uh, overcome uh, that particular uh, obstacles in, in cancer care. You are co-chairing the next AACR conference on the science of cancer health disparities. What, in your estimation, are the biggest challenges to overcoming cancer health disparities? Uh, certainly access, um, you know, is a particular, and, and it's important that uh, health disparities are not only uh, racially uh, related, but also economically related. So there are underserved areas um, a far from um, comprehensive cancer centers or good medical centers that do not have the access. Uh, cancer, of course, is uh, preventable, and uh, cancer is, of course, treatable if you can find it early. Um, we are working in trying to sort of address uh, a late cancer, but it's as uh, uh, the president uh, of ACR said, uh, is when the building is already on, on, on flames. So, so access, I think, uh, is very important. Um, health insurance, um, uh, certainly, um, uh, will be something that is very important. And of course, the cost of care when the, um, the house is already in flames. Dr. Villalona Calero, thank you so much. My pleasure.